Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. 1000 LB Sisters, Amy lost all the weight but acts like a martyr is her life really that hard? 1000 LB Sisters star Amy Slayton is definitely coming apart at the seams in the new season. Should she feel so sorry for herself Amy has a lot 1000 LB Sisters star Amy Slayton isn't doing well in the new season, and other cast members are complaining about her martyr act. Amy has a lot, but she also has a lot on her plate. She's someone who dreamed of motherhood. Now that she has it, she doesn't seem to be enjoying it at all. Before becoming a mom, she wanted a husband. However, when Michael Halterman didn't do what she wanted, Amy filed for divorce, not even giving marriage counseling a try. Now, the 1000 LB Sisters season 5 stars a single mother who's bitter, overwhelmed and sad. Amy's pain is so intense that it's wrenching to witness. She used to be such a calm woman. In past seasons, she always helped her cranky, rude sister. Now that Tammy Slayton's blooming after bariatric surgery, she's stepping up. Tammy's giving baby Glenn bottles and trying to cheer Amy up. The tables have really turned, showing Amy in a self-pitying light, while Tammy begins to evolve into a more mature and caring person. Watching all of this unfold on screen has been fascinating. Real martyrs usually die for a cause, but Amy's still alive and kicking. She has everything to play for. For one thing, she's a celebrity. The kind of star power that Amy has gives her options. So, although she's having an extremely hard time right now, mostly because Michael was such a poor husband and father, her life's not over. In the new season, after she left her husband, she talked about hiring a nanny. If she's in a financial position to do that, her life may not be as bad as it seems. In fact, hiring a nanny seems like a perfect, stress-relieving solution. Yes, Michael's been awful. No one's trying to make excuses for the man who wouldn't look after his own children and kept his wife from accessing her own bank card. This behavior is indefensible. He, far more than Amy who seems like a good woman, tore his family apart. Control issues and laziness made Michael seem like the husband from hell. In life, every choice can lead to happiness or heartbreak. Amy chose the wrong man. Many women can relate. However, poor romantic decisions are generally survivable. It takes some grit to move past that kind of pain, but it can be done and should be done. Now, it's up to Amy to make that happen. The good news is that Amy did reach out for help. She was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, acute stress disorder and depression. In Amy's TikTok clip shown above, she got real about what's happening in her life. It's wonderful that she's getting help, she's a woman it's easy to root for, she's made a lot of sacrifices for other people. In 1000 LB Sisters Season 5, Amy is exhausted. The symptoms of clinical depression were easy for those who understand the disorder to spot. In particular, the constant crying was a dead giveaway. Seeing a doctor about her sadness was the best thing that she could do for herself. Hopefully, now, the other pieces of the puzzle will begin to fall into place, so Amy can really live again. Within Amy's troubled union with Michael, she parented alone. She had two kids under the age of two, and Michael wouldn't give her any time away from them. To follow his ridiculous and selfish rules, Amy always needed to have at least one child with her. Any woman is going to be exhausted in that situation. The more he wore her down, the sadder she became. Leaving him wasn't the wrong decision, but in some ways, it compounded her stress. Michael has a lot to answer for. By acting this way, he ruined a beautiful thing. The two children, Gage and Glenn, are adorable and would greatly benefit from being part of a happy family that includes a mother and father. Now, 
the kids won't even live out their formative years with a father present. Yes, he sees them sometimes, but it's not the same. Amy does deserve sympathy. She had untreated depression during season 5, and was parenting a baby and toddler, being the only caregiver was a terrible burden because she just wasn't up to it. It was too much for her, just like she said it was. What Amy needed was mental health care. Luckily, the people who love her are trying to help. With the right treatment for her mental health issues, and help from her family and friends, she can make her life better. It may not happen overnight, but there's hope. So yes, Amy had some reasons for acting like a martyr during the season. More than most reality stars, she had real problems that were severe enough to be debilitating. She grew up with an emotionally distant mother. Darlene is harsh and has put her daughters down, she never believed in Amy or Tammy. Darlene was often absent from the home, leaving her daughters to take care of themselves. They turned to convenience foods and their weight gain issues began. Those issues led to Tammy's near-death experiences. Amy didn't have the same severe health problems. However, the strain was acting on her inside, triggering psychological problems. Some of those issues may have developed due to genetics. According to the exclusive Access Hollywood interview shown above, Amy's overjoyed by her sister Tammy's weight loss. It's great that she's so supportive of her sister. However, in the season, Amy was too self-absorbed to really share her sister's celebratory spirit. Yes, Amy was. By what was happening to her sister. However, she was weighed down by so much depression, anxiety, and sadness. These issues blocked her from really being there for Tammy. Tammy, to her credit, couldn't have been nicer. It was shocking to see the formerly mean-spirited Tammy acting so human and loving. She really had Amy's back. The most beautiful thing about Tammy's weight loss is the way it has activated her kindness, humor, and grace. It's a transformation so deep that it's changed her as a person. Meanwhile, Amy, who protected her sister for so long, is the one who needs help. Amy has more responsibilities, so the road ahead will probably be rockier. Michael may become more involved as a parent, but it's just as likely that Amy will always be a primary caregiver. If she gets enough help, hopefully, she can enjoy parenting more. Babies and toddlers don't stay little forever. It's a phase that's tiring, but it should be joyful too. Babies and toddlers are adorable. Amy deserves to have happy moments with the children that she loves so much. Amy's been going to the dark side on screen, whether she's taking out her aggression in a rage room or splattering her wedding dress in colorful paint. She's not exactly counting her blessings during 1000 LB Sisters Season 5. In fact, she seems to dislike everything about her own life. Amy's new sad sack image is not what it seems. It's not martyrdom for the sake of theater and ratings. It's the byproduct of serious mental illness. Amy's been strong for too long. Tammy's been there to help and sometimes, the sisters' antics are hilarious. For example, when they made stink candles in the kitchen, incorporating some sketchy scents they used a great big onion and Worcestershire sauce as ingredients, as well as the usual beeswax or paraffin, it was so weird that it was truly entertaining. Bipolar disorder is a lot to live with. Balancing medications to treat bipolar can also be very complicated. Patients work with their doctors to try and find the right mix of drugs. When that balance is achieved, it can make a big difference. Other stars, such as Britney Spears and Kanye West, have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. At times, both behaved erratically, probably during manic phases when they couldn't really be considered responsible for their actions. Hopefully, Amy's medication, if she's taking it, is really helping her. Everyone has a breaking point. 
During 1000 LB Sisters Season 5, Amy discovered her breaking point. It was parenting alone. That's grueling for anyone. It's not martyrdom to struggle with it and share feelings about it. The only thing that would make Amy a martyr for show is whining and crying but doing nothing to make her life better. She did get help and that's a sign of strength. While she reached her limit in the season, something inside of her was unwilling to go down without a fight. So, she dug deep and asked for help. In the bustling world of reality television, where every pound shed and every tear shed is captured for the world to witness, there exists a saga that has captured the hearts and raised the eyebrows of viewers worldwide, 1000 LB Sisters. The show, a roller coaster of emotions and transformations, has brought us the highs and lows of the Slayton sisters, Amy and Tammy, as they navigate their way through the treacherous terrain of weight loss. As the tale unfolded, it became clear that Amy had become the unexpected hero of the series. With determination etched into her every move, she embarked on a journey to shed the weight that had defined her for so long. The transformation was nothing short of miraculous, as Amy went from being confined to her bed to embracing a newfound lease on life. The scales told a tale of triumph, shedding nearly half her body weight. Yet, amidst the confetti of success and cheers from a supportive fanbus, a cloud of controversy began to gather over Amy's head. She lost the weight, but did she lose the chip on her shoulder? The audience found themselves asking, is her life really as hard as she makes it out to be Amy, once confined to the shadows of her sister's struggles, emerged as the protagonist of her own story. However, as the pounds melted away, a new weight seemed to settle on her shoulders the weight of martyrdom. Despite her incredible accomplishments, Amy's attitude began to shift, transforming her success into a tale of martyrdom. I sacrificed so much for this. Amy declared on the show, her eyes reflecting a mix of pride and sorrow. The transformation was undoubtedly awe-inspiring, but as the audience watched, they couldn't help but wonder if the weight loss had come with an unintended consequence and inflated sense of self-pity. Amy's every action seemed to be punctuated by a sense of martyrdom. From the meticulously crafted social media posts detailing her daily struggles to the dramatic sighs and eye rolls during family gatherings, Amy painted a picture of a woman burdened by the weight of her past. The narrative she spun was one of sacrifice, of giving up everything for the sake of transformation. The audience was left to grapple with the question, was Amy truly burdened by an unbearable life, or had she become the architect of her own narrative? a tale of woe that overshadowed the triumphs in the midst of this whirlwind, Tammy, once the focal point of concern, became an unwitting spectator to her sister's transformation. As the spotlight shifted, Tammy's journey seemed to lose its luster, her struggles fading into the background as Amy took center stage. The balance of their dynamic shifted, leaving Tammy in the shadows of her sister's newfound glory. Amy's martyrdom reached its peak during a pivotal moment in the series of family intervention. As the concerned voices of family members echoed through the room, Amy's eyes welled with tears, and her voice wavered with a sense of injustice. Why can't you all just be happy for me she pleaded, her vulnerability laying bare for the world to see. Yet, as the tears fell, a subtle skepticism lingered in the air. Was Amy truly the victim of an unsupportive family, or was this another act in the grand play of martyrdom she had scripted for herself the question hung in the air, unanswered, as the series continued to unfold. Amy, a symbol of triumph and transformation, had inadvertently become a symbol of something else entirely a cautionary tale about the thin line between overcoming adversity and embracing the role of a martyr. As the credits rolled on another episode of 1000 LB Sisters, viewers were left to ponder the complexities of Amy's journey. Was her life truly as hard as she portrayed it, or had she become entangled in the web of her own narrative the weight of that question, much like the pounds she had shed, lingered in the minds of those who had witnessed the transformation of a woman from victim to victor, 
and perhaps, to unwitting martyr.